That's another win. Oh my god. Dominance. All right. I'm going to attempt to use my superb paint skills to uh, basically uh, explain why to uh, shaman positioning is important. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So here we go. Shaman positioning 101. Okay. So, okay, pretend you play a um, Death Rattle mini. So this is a Harvest Golem, right? This is Harvest Golem. Okay, so it's a 2-3 with Death Rattle. Okay, so you play this on the board, and you play another creature. So say a Zombie Child, okay? Like, uh, uh, actually, something, something, something more easy to draw. I guess a girl, okay? A girl, a uh, novice engineer. Uh, this is a girl, okay? So, when you summon new totems, they all go on this side, right? If, so, they all go on this side, totems. And then when you have a flame tongue, right? So, this is like a flame tongue totem, right? You slot it in the middle, and then you kill this off, and then it slides and buffs this. And you kill, and then you kill this totem, attack, it trades or something, and then the flame tongue slides to here, and trades and so on, right? Now, this could not happen if I put the zombie child in the middle. So, if there's a minion here, so name it like a, I, I don't know, like a knife juggler here. So like a knife juggler, K. Okay. Um, if I put a flame tongue here, when I trade the harvest golem, it dies, but then it respawns again, right? It respawns, doing, and then the knife juggler does not get buffed because, so it, it was supposed to be five, right? But five does not equal three. So like you can't, it doesn't get buffed. So it's sad, unhappy face. So you always want to put the death rattles on the left side. And um, yeah, because totems spawn on the right side. 100.